Hey Pokemon fans, today we're going to be opening something very different uh, to Pokemon, obviously. Uh, these are actually mystery minis. Uh, these are by Funko, and if you don't know who they are, they are the ones that make the pop vinyls uh, that seem to be in every shop everywhere. Uh, so they're pretty cool, so we, we know that they're going to be quite high quality. These are from the new film of the Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, I haven't seen this film, I've seen the first one, um, but I only know this guy's name, uh, which is Newt. We have six to open. Um, like Pokemon, they kind of have a, a collector's side to it. Um, and if we just turn around to the back... We can actually see that we have different rarities. Um, so obviously, every one in twelve, every one in twelve, you get certain characters. Some are more rare, so you get one in seventy-two, and another one down here, which is one in seventy-two, um, and one in thirty-six. So the most common ones you're going to get is this uh, dragon-looking thing and this owl with weird ears, um, and then you've got this creepy little cat going on down here. There you go. Uh, so yeah, uh, the coolest thing I want to actually get out of these um, is this little thing. Um, I know it was in the first movie. Um, I have no idea what it's called, um, but it looks pretty cool. But we would hope to pull one of the rarer um, items. But as I said, we've only got six. I did find it in a bargain bin, um, but I took the whole <laughs> the whole box, as you can see in the background. I actually took the whole um, box that was left. There was six left out of the 12. Uh, so yeah, let's crack into it. Oh, and uh, for those people interested in, in the Pokemon, at the end I'll be opening uh, two booster packs of Burning Shadows. So let's crack into it. So as I said, these are from Funko. Um, and this is in partnership with Warner Brothers um, and the Wizarding World. And hopefully we can get something pretty cool. So, let's open our first one. It's like a super strong box. So inside we've got a little plastic bag. And inside the plastic bag we have... What a surprise! <laughs> the most common one you can get, which is the dragon. Which, on and all honesty, the quality of this is really nice, actually. It is really nice. Look at that, that is cool. I've got a bit of plastic stuck on my finger there but overall that is that is a really cool little toy or collectible should we call them collectibles we're, we're, we're more grown-ups I guess we'll call them collectibles um, <laughs> let's get straight into the next box if I can get into them there we go it would be easier that one oh knocked the dragon over I'm sure in the comments from one of you guys can actually let me know what they're really called um, they just look like dragons to me. Uh, in this one, <laughs> we got the second most common one, which is the owl. Again, I'm really impressed, like, the quality. I kind of expected them to be quite high grade, since they're Funko, uh, which make really good, obviously, plastic vinyl toys. And what we got on the bottom there, um, 2018 Funko <laughs> made in China. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So there we go. So we've got the two most common ones. So hopefully the rest of these um, are different. So we've still got four left. Um, and then, as I said, at the end, we'll open a couple of Burning Shadows booster packs. If I can actually even get in. Oh, my God. Come on. Uh, okay. We're just going to have to go with the scissors because I'm being pathetic and not being able to open this. So I'm guessing this dude in the, with the grey hair is uh, Grindelwald. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't seen the, this movie yet. Um, I have seen the first one, which is quite cool. I did enjoy it. Uh, all the magical creatures and stuff. Uh, okay, so we did get Newt, which is really good. Um, if I remember, his name is Newt Salamander or something like that, um, which is really cool. I, he's probably the one I wanted the most out of um, all of the ones that you can actually collect. Um, since he is the main character, after all, if you're going to get one, it's probably worth getting the main character. 
Uh, let's just get in with the scissors straight away because no one's got time for me to take forever to get into these boxes. So hopefully, we still got three left. This is the fourth box to open. We get something a bit more rarer. Okay, so we've got the other character. I have no idea what his name is. Um, <clears throat> but I think, again, he's quite a common one. Yeah, one in 12. Um, I know he's partly a main character in the films. Um, sort of like they hang out together. I don't know. I don't know. You, you guys tell me. I kind of don't really know much about <clears throat> Fantastic Beasts series. I know more about Harry Potter, and I kind of know this is a spin-off with the Harry Potter. Um, is this guy, this guy, like, young Dumbledore or something? He could be, that could be. I don't know. I think he's in the film. I think are they supposed to be making a spin-off series about him? I'm not sure. Okay, so <laughs> so we got another dragon. Okay, that's not it's not too bad. I mean, fair enough. It is the most common one to to pull. Um, it's a shame we didn't get anything more exciting or different there. It seems there are quite a few of them still to collect. So this is our last box. Uh, this isn't going to be a very long video. Um, and then we'll just crack a couple of packs of Burning Shadows. And then you guys can get on with the rest of your day. I have a very strong feeling that this is this one is just going to be another owl. Um, but, you know, fingers crossed it's something, something different we haven't seen yet. And it is... Oh, it's the, the weird-looking cat thing, which I have no idea what it is. But I'm guessing it's something similar to these dragons, since it has a very similar style to it, and the eyes. It's pretty cool. That's not bad. That's not bad. Again, like, the quality of these are really good. Like, the detailing is really, is really nice. So there you go, guys. That is six boxes of mystery minis from Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. And unfortunately, we didn't get anything pretty cool, but at least we got the main characters, um, a couple of dragons, which who doesn't like dragons? So let's put these guys at the back over here if they're going to stay. There we go. Okay, so we have a couple packs of uh, Burning Shadows. I've never actually opened any of these. I do have a stack of these. Um, by what I mean is in the cardboard um, packs. But I do have a lot of sealed boosters, um, single packs. Um, and I've just never got around to opening them. I was kind of hoping to save them for a collection, but whatever. So we have Marshadow. Oh, oh so let's start with a Marshadow. The only thing that's really decent to pull from this set is Charizard. Um, either Charizard GX or the Rainbow Red Charizard would be great. Uh, but who knows? So there's a code card. Do I think it's just do four to the front. Could be wrong there, and we may have the first. Okay, yeah, so there's the energy. We have Weakness Policy, Poe Town, Rabombi. Cutie Fly, so there we go, cool evolution there. Riolu, Alone and Grimer, Noibat, Hussy, Krogunk, and our rare is a Hollow Lycanroc. Okay, so not bad. Not bad, I know it's not really worth anything, but a Hollow from uh, a single pack is not too bad at all. And let's pack into our second pack. So we should just be able to spin this over. There's a code card. Do four to the front. Okay, so we have a water energy. Lunatone, Gamaria, Cedra, Oddish, Tynamo, Little Mudbrayer, Stuffle, obviously having a little fun time in some flowers there. We got a Noibat. Our uh, Hollow Reverse is a rare Shenotic, and our rare is a Toxicroak. So we didn't really get anything too great there. We got a couple of rares, um, 
follows. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. It was a little bit different to my usual content, which is Pokemon related. Um, but it was pretty cool to have a look at these little vinyl figures. I mean, like I can see in the camera there, the, the quality looks so good. Like the high quality. So if you guys can go find some, I mean, they are really cheap at the moment in um, Tesco's in the UK. Um, I think they're about one pound a box, which is pretty good considering the Harry Potter ones, which are exactly the same, uh, retailing at four ninety five or something like that. So there you go, guys. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please press the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video.